Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Elisa. I am addicted to luxury goods, accessories, skincare, makeup, self-care, and not going to rehab soon. Today, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup using my favorite products. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and keep on watching. Let's start with my bare face and I've already prepped my skin. I'm going to put my hair up. I usually just put my hair in a bun so it's easy and it gets out of my face. I've already put moisturizer and everything. Today, I'm going to be using the Super Goop Everyday Single Face Sunscreen because this goes really well on under makeup and I love it. It is very lightweight. The consistency is very liquidy. That is done. As you can see, it's a bit glowy, but I have a dry ass face, so I love the glow. Next, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Lip Plush Pudding. I really like this lip balm because it's so thick and moisturizing. It comes out like this, and then you just swipe it off and put it on your lips. I love it. Next, we're gonna go on to our face and I really enjoyed this Natasha Denona. This is the Skin Glass Serum. It is highly, highly glowy, but the consistency is very different because it is quite sticky and it really helps with the makeup you're gonna put on after this. So let me show you. Here is the finished skin as you can see. I am like a mirror right now, but I'll add some coverage and you'll see how nice and glow it is. So next I'm gonna be going in with this cushion right here. This is the Burberry Ultimate Glow Cushion. I'm in the shade number 10, Fair Warm. I just use the puff that comes with it. I just like this cushion because it gives like a little bit of coverage. It also has a little bit of glow but just a tiny bit. And you can really build up the coverage so I really like it. I bring it down a little but then we'll connect our face and neck with a bronzer. I try to avoid my brows because I don't want to get any of the product in there. Work it into your hairline. I have a little bit of redness right here on my cheeks because I got mosquito bite when I was sleeping. So I need a little bit more coverage right here. I just keep on tapping and pressing everything into my skin just so it is very, very skin-like. Next, we're gonna go in with this NYX concealer. This is exactly like my skin shade. So I'm gonna put it on my hand and I'm only gonna use it in areas where I need to cover a little bit more of some redness, which is my cheeks right here. Just gonna use my finger. And for my under eyes, I like this Rare Beauty Concealer. I am in the shade 130N and this is a little bit lighter than my skin. So I like to use this for my under eyes. And I leave this for a little bit while I do my brows just so that it kind of dries and it's really easy to blend and the coverage is great. I have this Refi Beauty. I'm using this Refi Beauty as my brow so that I really lift up my hair brows like this. I go the wrong direction first to really coat all the hair and then I go the right direction up and I just keep brushing it up. Now that we're done with that, I'm gonna be using this Dior Show Brow Styler. I really like this one. It is in the shade 002 Dark Brown and I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I also have my eyebrow microbladed because I do not have, you know, good eyebrows. I have hair brows, but it's very thin. So I do need to microblade my brows, but it's not too bad. And it's been many, many years and I want to do it again and refill it, but it's still not going anywhere. So I don't get a chance to refill it yet. I'm just gonna brush this up. A little bit and then lastly I use this benefit brow setter just to push everything up and make sure it stays so I really like this it really stays up okay so we're done with eyebrows crown of the face we're gonna blend the concealer out 
bring this down a little I really go into the corners of my eyes and just let it down a little okay now we're gonna do a bit of bronzing and contouring I kind of just do the two together just so it's quick I'm using this rare beauty bronzer stick this is in the shade happy soul this is a tiny bit warm for me as a contour but I really like it because it's hot in Thailand so we can do summer looks all the time so just like that and I really, I really, really love this Bobbi Brown brush. It is called the Full Coverage Face Brush. I really, really like this brush for blending any cream contours or bronzers. I am no makeup guru or artist. I just do what I like and what I think works for me. I don't contour here where people do it because it's already like in. <laughs> I need to fill it up a little bit but this is what I'm working so I'm gonna go in with a cream blush and I am really in love with this cream blush right now it is from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade pink gasm but this is like their pair like I bought it as a set with the highlighter like the mini one and I feel like I only use the blush because it is already a bit you know highlighty I just tap it in just tap it in like that and then blend and this one is a glowy blush so you don't really need a highlighter unless you know you want extra highlight you just tap it in dot, 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 and just go for it now we are a lot cuter than before <laughs> now we're gonna go into powder products now that we're done with all the cream i usually contour my nose with powder just so it sticks better i am gonna set my under eyes with this makeup forever powder this is their loose powder and i bought in the shade vanilla number no. two this comes with a puff and i am gonna use the puff for my under eyes I kind of tap this on my hand first just so all the powder is you know evenly distributed and then I go in to my under eyes and also all over my lid just because it always you know creases my under eyes always creases and there you go this is my eyes and then because I kind of get oily around my nose I also put powder just around here like a tiny bit because I do get oily around here and then I'm gonna use a big brush this is from Morphe and I'm just gonna swirl around powder and then I'm just gonna go around this area a little bit more and whatever's left I just drag it out I don't really like too much powder on my face because I am a dry a very dry a very dark ass <laughs> I just go around here for my smile line a little bit under here and just a little bit here now we're gonna move on to our eyes and I usually don't do much but I use this hourglass bronze nude light this is their bronzer actually I use this around my eyes because I like the shade I just use it all over the lid Oh, and I'm using the two-sided Tarte brush. I got it off a set. I honestly don't remember which set it is. I'm so sorry about that. Just swirl around all over my lid. And then I go in with the same shade. Go in with the same bronzer, basically. And I use the same bronzer to contour my nose. But I use this very, very lightly because the brush is, you know, a bit big. But I just go in and contour down the side of my nose because i am asian and i don't want my nose bridge to be that high up but just you know a little bit something on the side of the nose down and also underneath right here just you know to add a little bit more something something so there you go you have a little bit more nose with makeup and then I use the other side of this brush and go in the same shade I go underneath my eye lids and just you know blend it in go with the outer corners and blend it in 
I do have Asian eyes, so I'm just gonna do whatever I can. Next, we are gonna be doing a little bit of glitter. Usually, I just stop here. I go in with a mascara and I'm done with my eyes, but today I have an event, so I'm gonna go in with a little glitter. This is the Hourglass Getter Light, and this is in the shade Smoke. I really love this because it's easy. Put it all over the lid and go. So I just use my fingers. I put it on my fingers, and then I just tap it on the eyes. Just a little something something. And it's like not glittery where, you know, it hits everywhere on your face and you have to clean it up. This one, you just tap, 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 blend it out and be done. And there you go, a little sparkle. Next, we're gonna curl my lashes and we're gonna put on some mascara. This one, I'm using the Sorad Eyelash Curler. I just have been using this forever because I watch Pimo Me. <laughs> I really like this curler because it gets all my lashes and the width is perfect for my eye shape and maybe it's made for, you know, Asian eyes. Now our lashes are curled. I have my two favorite mascara right here. This one is from Clio and this one is from Clay de Peau. I use them for different reasons. This is for every day and this is when I have an event where I need longevity. I will be using this today. The only downside about this mascara is that the wand is kind Kind of a bit small and I have to go many many times on my lashes to get the length and the volume that I want but for the lift and the volume and the length I love 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 this mascara so our lashes are done I am gonna put an eyeliner in the waterline this one I use the pixie endless eye pencil I just like this because it's really dry and my eyelids are very oily so this will give my eye a tiny bit more depth so that's it for my face now we are going to go to lips today we're gonna use a combination of new lipsticks that I just got this is the hourglass this is their new satin lipstick and I love this kind of packaging and I'm gonna use this shade dove at first when I saw this on the stick it's quite like orangey pinkish red but when I put it on my lips it literally looks like my lips but better shade I'm just gonna put it in the center of my lips and kind of just blend it out so it gives your lips a better a little bit more reddish pink and then for the gloss I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia Goldie I love this gloss so much I recently just got it it was gifted but I haven't stopped using it since I forgot my <laughs> setting spray well, almost done. I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. I got this in like the small size so I can try it. I've been loving it so far. Here is the finished look. I hope you like this video and if you have any comments, please let me know down below. I will try my best to do them. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. This is my first makeup video, so I hope it does okay. Thank you. Bye!